What's up guys, Nashti here and welcome back to my channel. On this vlog episode, we're counting down the best smartphone for under 6,000 pesos that are proudly Filipino. So there's not a lot of them available in the market today, especially with the influx of cheap or affordable Chinese branded smartphones. But there are still some left, which I think are still competitive in today's smartphone market. So let's find out which smartphones I'm talking about. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. Here's a list of proudly Filipino smartphones for less than 6,000 pesos as of April 2020. Starting off with the MyPhone My X12, which packs a 6.26 inch IPS LCD of HD Plus resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie and is powered by an Octacar Unisoc SC9863 processor and a Power VR GPU. It has 64 gigs of expandable storage and 4 gigs of RAM. It packs a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera coupled with a VGA depth sensor. It also has a 5 megapixel cell camera. Among its features are an IR blaster, USB OTG, dual SIM support, a 3.5mm jack, an FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It has a 3,500 mAh battery, and it retails for 5,499 pesos. What I like about the MyPhone My X12 is its contemporary design with a notched display, its large storage and RAM, dual camera setup, IR blaster, and fingerprint scanner. However, I didn't like its less powerful chipset and relatively small battery capacity. Another entry from my phone is the My X1i Pro, which comes with a 5.99 inch IPS LCD of HD Plus resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie with an unidentified octa-core chipset. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. It also has a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera coupled with a VGA depth sensor. It has a 5 megapixel selfie camera with its own LED flash. Among its other features are an IR blaster, USB OTG, dual SIM support, 3.5mm audio jack, FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It has a 3,500 mAh battery and retails for 3,999 pesos. What I like about the My X1i Pro is its dual camera setup, its front LED flash, its IR blaster and fingerprint scanner. However, I didn't like that its chipset is unknown and it has a relatively small battery capacity. Our third smartphone on the list is the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro, which comes with a 6.5 inch IPS LCD of HD Plus resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie with Cherry OS version 2 on top and is powered by an Octocar MediaTek Helio P22 processor and a Power VR GPU. It has 64 gigs of expandable storage and 4 gigs of RAM. It also has a dual camera setup with a 20 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. It also has a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Among its other features are a USB Type-C port, USB OTG, dual SIM connectivity, an FM radio, and fingerprint scanner. It also has a large 4000 mAh battery. It retails for 5,999 pesos and comes with a free wellness band. What I like about the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro is its contemporary notch design, its large storage and RAM, its dual high-resolution camera setup, fingerprint scanner, and a USB-C port. However, I don't like that it has no 3.5mm audio jack and it has a hybrid SIM tray.
Another Cherry Mobile on the list is the Flare S8 Deluxe, which comes with a 6.26-inch IPS LCD of HD Plus resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie with Cherry OS version 2 on top. It is powered by an Octa-Core Unisoc SC9863A processor and a Power VR GPU. It has 64 gigs of expandable storage and 4 gigs of RAM. It has a dual camera setup with a 16 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It also has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Among its other features are USB OTG, dual SIM connectivity, a 3.5mm audio jack, an FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It has a 3000 mAh battery and retails for 4,999 pesos. What I like about the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Deluxe is its contemporary notch design, large storage and RAM, dual camera setup, fingerprint scanner, and dedicated micro SD card slot. However, I don't like that it has a less powerful chipset and a relatively small battery capacity. The fifth smartphone on our list is the Cherry Mobile Flare S8, which comes with a 6.26-inch IPS LCD of HD resolution. It too runs Android 9 Pie with Cherry OS version 2 on top and is powered by an Octa-Cur MediaTek Helio P23 processor with the Mali G71 GPU. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. It has a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It also has a 13 megapixel selfie camera. Among its other features are dual SIM connectivity, a 3.5 mm audio jack, an FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It has a small 2800 mAh battery and retails for 3999 pesos. What I like about the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 is its relatively capable chipset, dual camera setup, and fingerprint scanner. However, I don't like that it has a very small battery and it has a hybrid SIM tray. Here's a comparison table of the 5 Filipino branded smartphones that we are looking at. With regard to display and resolution, you can see that all 5 smartphones pack an HD Plus resolution. And because the MyPhone My X1i Pro has the smallest display, it has the highest pixel density. On the software side of things, all of them run Android 9 Pie and none of them has been upgraded to Android 10. With regard to chipset, it's the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 that leads the pack with an Octa-Cur MediaTek Helio P23 processor. When it comes to memory and storage, the MyPhone My X12, Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro, and Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Deluxe all come with 64 gigs of expandable storage and 4 gigs of RAM. And when it comes to camera, the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro easily leads the bunch with a high resolution 20 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 5 megapixel depth sensor and a high resolution 20 megapixel selfie camera. The battery department is also another win for the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro with its large 4000 mAh battery. While it's hard to recommend the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro for its very small 2500 mAh battery capacity. When it comes to pricing, if I would have to pick a 4000 pesos smartphone, I would choose the MyPhone My X1 Pro simply because it has larger battery capacity than the Cherry Mobile Flare S8. Meanwhile, if I have 5,000 to 6,000 pesos to spend on the smartphone, I would pick the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro. Among the 5 Filipino branded smartphones, I think the one that offers the best value for money is the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Pro. And if I want a cheaper alternative, you can't go wrong with the MyPhone My X12 smartphone. It's good to see Filipino branded smartphones being very competitive as you can see from their price up to the features like you know a fingerprint scanner, an IR blaster, USB type C, and many more. So as long as there are people like you guys who continue to support our local smartphone brands, then these smartphone manufacturers will be able to release more affordable and great value smartphones in the future. I 
So I hope you guys learned something from this vlog episode and I hope I was able to help you decide on which Filipino branded smartphone to buy. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and like the notification bell. Only here on the channel where Nashti is nice, I'm Nashti. Till then.